A fire burned all night long, but did not turn the woman in front of him into ashes. She was a woman who could not be killed by fire, with golden and silver hair, and a pair of lavender eyes. Her name is Daenerys. She will become the mother of dragons, in order to rule the seven kingdoms again, and to stop the never-ending wanderings. The brother decided to sell his sister Danny's body, in exchange for 40,000 troops under the command of Draco Kayo, to take back the throne of their family. And when Danny first saw Drogo, he was shocked. His body was so strong and tall. Viserys told his sister. He was a Dothraki. Whenever the tribe was defeated in battle, they would cut off their own defense as a punishment. But this call Drogo, in front of him, had never lost a battle in his life. After hearing his brother's words, Danny cautiously walked forward. Looking at the princess who came like a fairy tale, Draco looked at her carefully and did not say anything. Then, he led his men away. Viserys was at a loss for words. However, the governor smiled and told him. Drogo had already fallen in love with Danny. In the near future, you will be leading the army he provided, across the strait, to kill the Reckoner who betrayed him, to regain the throne. But at the age of 13, Danny did not want to be the Queen of Drogo, she just wants to go back to Dragonstone, back to her former home. That's when Viserys suddenly said something harsh, even if it meant that everyone in the army, to sleep with his sister, as long as the throne was regained, it would all be worth it. After hearing his brother's vicious words, Danny's eyes did not have a single look in them, she she seemed to see in her brother's body. She saw the shadow of her father's brutality. And so it was. Draco and Danny's wedding banquet took place as scheduled. And at such a wedding banquet in Dothraki, at least three people had to die for the wedding to be a success. In the process of the warriors killing each other, the representatives of the major tribes also offered their gifts. That's when Yora Mormont appeared. He was loyal to Danny's father. And in the future road, he will also protect the two exiled siblings with his life. And then the governor also presented his noble gift. Inside the box were the fossils of three dragon eggs. Although the legendary dragons have been extinct for centuries, even modern people do not believe in their existence. But Danny knew very well. Her family once rode countless dragons. They ruled the Seven Kingdoms for nearly 300 years. At that moment, Drogo also rose and gave Danny a white stallion and gave it to Danny as a wedding gift. Then he put her on the horse. Make him happy. And so began their wedding night. Danny, also on this night, became Drogo's woman. Then the army started to march towards Dothraki headquarters, and Danny was afraid and confused about her future. She put all her spiritual support on the fossilized dragon egg. She didn't care about anything else. But every time Danny saw the slaves being whipped, she would not be able to bear it. Asked all the people to stop for a while to rest, give the slaves a chance to breathe. And that's when his angry brother Viserys came riding up on his horse. He scolded Danny for not giving orders. Orders, because I traded you and Drogo for the whole tribe. He was the leader. Everyone had to listen to him. But suddenly a horseman with a long whip and knocked Viserys to the ground and asked Danny if he wanted to put this madman to death, even if it means cutting off an ear to teach him a lesson. Danny rushed to stop it. She had never seen her brother treated like this before, and she didn't want any harm to come to the only family left. At this point, an enraged Viserys ordered Yora, kill these Dothraki dogs. I am your king! But Yora ignores this and punished him for going on foot. Then the group finally reached the Dothraki stronghold, the city of the Horse King. At this point Viserys complained again. The army that Drogo had promised to give him had not yet been realized and that he was in a house full of horse manure. In a house full of horse manure and mud. But this stinks of manure! All of it! <laughs> Stop! Stop! It. Turn me into one of them, wouldn't you? Next I want to braid my hair. Danny began to retort. He'll never make a career out of it with that kind of personality. Hearing someone question him, angry, Viserys hit Danny in a fit of rage. He wanted to teach his sister a lesson. Until Danny fought back for the first time, Viserys was surprised. I am Achilles of the Dothraki. I am the wife of the great Carl, and I carry his son inside me. The next time you raise a hand to me will be the last time you have hands after hearing Danny's words, Viserys didn't know what to do. And Danny came to realize that, even if Drogo did promise to give his brother an army, with such a character, he has no ability to command a battle. The revival of the family relies on Viserys alone is still too far away. So, Danny, in order to verify whether his own body, whether the family's true dragon bloodline is flowing, to reclaim the throne that should belong to her family, she made a bold decision. 